Hi guys, it's Corrine, and today I have a mini album to share with you. I have a friend at work that asked me to make a special album for her mom's birthday who's coming up. She's turning 85, so it's a very special birthday, and she wanted a unique handmade gift to give her. And her mom has traveled all over the world, loves travel, and so she wanted a travel-themed album where her mom can just add all her photos in, and the family has a keepsake for that. So immediately I turned to Knitwig Collections. Um, if you're not familiar with Knitwig Collections, they're a digital paper collection, and they have tons to choose from. They sell a bundled package, and that is the way to go because you save 20%, and it comes with their entire collection. All the solid, all the different pattern papers, all the journaling cards, digital stamps, all the elements come in that. And you'll be able to see when I flip through the album here in a minute, I used a ton of them. So if you're searching their website, like I'm going to show you here, if you're searching for something specific, put in a quotation mark and type out the name. So I'm going to type in a quotation mark and type out the word journey, and it's going to pull up the collection that I used in this album. You can also just do a general search if you want to. You can search Paris theme or dog theme. They also have an advanced search option and it'll pull up different collections that way. So here's the journey collection and they have, like I said, different ways you can order it. If you only want to use or purchase the elements out of it, you can do that. They also have great alphabets with them. And I like to use their collections using my Silhouette Cameo. You can use a Cricut machine, any type of electronic die cutter, or you can simply print these out and cut them by hand. Um, I do have a video on my channel showing how I use it with my Silhouette machine. I simply trace the elements and have my machine cut them out. Um, sometimes I do cut them by hand. They also have a YouTube channel and when they come out with new collections, when Mary Fran um, designs new collections, they will do a video showing everything that comes in that collection. So if you get the bundled collection, you can see exactly every single thing that you're getting. And like I said, they have tons of pattern papers, tons of solid papers. You will not get duplicates if you buy the entire bundled. You're going to get a huge array of different colors and um, you can use these for cards, scrapbooks, whatever you want. Once you purchase this, you can use these over and over as many times as you want. And check out my video. I'll link it in the description box how I use it. There, You can also change the scale on the paper. So you can have the same paper twice, but it looks a little bit different because maybe you scaled up the pattern or scaled it down. Knitwit Collections on their YouTube channel also has how-to videos that you may want to check out, how to use all different types of programs um, in your computer. So let me go ahead and do a flip through of this album. So this album measures nine and a quarter by eight and the spine is five inches. And as I mentioned, I use the Knitwit Collections, the Journey Collection. I also use two others um, in their collections, Abigail and Ooh La La. And I did use a couple papers from my stash as well. So I'm gonna be sure to link all the Knitwit Collections down in the description box so you can find them easily. So here on the front, I believe this is an authentic paper. This is a leather paper, as you can see, I made it into a suitcase theme. And um, this will be sitting inside of a suitcase when done. So I'll show you that here in a minute. And that's what made me choose to make this into a suitcase theme. So on the front, I used some grunge paper that I cut to about uh, a half inch, I believe it was. And if you know the color of grunge paper, it kind of looks like cement color. So to get that leather look, I used this folk art that I got from Michaels. It's antiquing polish and it's the number 590 brown. I used it on these as well, these corners here. These were bright silver. So I went ahead and let them sit overnight and antique them as well. Here the buckles are from Hobby Lobby Spare Parts. I used a Tim Holtz uh, typewriter letter with her mom's initial on it. I used a little baggage tag from the Knitwit Collections collection, backed it on some card craft cardstock, and then some baker's twine. On the side here, I did the same thing with grunge paper and these brads as well. These were silver brads, but I didn't like the look of that. I wanted them to match, so I used that same antiquing polish for that. And then this comes in the Knitwit Collections. It's a, a baggage tag. I thought that was super cute to go with this theme. And then the back is just the leather paper left plain. I may add a small tag on that. I haven't decided. 
and when you open this album this album has 12 pocket pages i wanted this album to be big i wanted she's traveled so many different places and has so many memories i wanted this album to hold a ton of photos which it will so when you open it up the pages are eight and three quarters by seven and a quarter and all of them are pocket pages so all of them have a side pull out mat and i designed this bracket edge in my silhouette cameo i won't pull every one of them out but every single one has a pull out mat so she can journal on these or she can add a large photo like a five by seven photo or here are two four by six photos to show you that two four by six photos will fit nicely on these as well so she can put some double-sided tape tape those down on both the front and the back and as long as she's careful putting them in the pockets these pockets have quite a bit of room so again she can journal or add photos if she adds photos this this album will hold a lot on the side here i cut out this bracket little waterfall i added some cream satin trim again this is all from the paper collection and on these she can add two by two photos on each one here i made a pocket i used a we are memory keepers scallop punch on the edge here this is the Crocodile Corner Chomper by We Are Memory Keepers. And this Enjoy the Journey is a sentiment I had in my stash. I just added it onto it. This flower cluster comes in the paper collection from Knitwit. And then I added some jewels. And then these, most all the pockets, not everyone, but most all the pockets throughout this album have hinges. So it allows for um, a little bit bigger pocket, which allows for more photos to be added in. So here's a paper that I had in my stash. I backed it on craft cardstock. You'll see that throughout. She can add a large photo on this and then journaling or another photo on the back. And then throughout the album, I have a few larger photo mats. These are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So these will hold five by seven photos and leave a nice little border. And then the same thing with a four by six photo that she can use either landscape or portrait style. If she adds her photo on it, it's going to leave just a perfect border. Hopefully you can see that. That's my sweet Daisy. So she can add a photo to the front and the back or journaling to the back as well. Here are some journal cards that come in the collection. Again, journaling or photos on the back. On this side, I left this side open. So again, she can add her photo directly on there and I cut out the word adventure, use this tag from the collection. Here, this as well. You can size this down to small if you want. I sized it up to be able to use it here as a page stopper for the journaling cards and for her photo. Again, another four by six photo. This paper I had in my stash, she can add journaling or photo to the back of that. And then there are some flip out pages. Here is one here. On this side, I added these tags that come in the collection directly onto the paper before printing it out. And then I did add some Baker's Twine here, another um, tag from the collection that I doubled on cardstock. And again, it's left open so her photo can slide directly under there and tape it down or glue it down. Here is the suitcase. I just simply traced this in my cameo silhouette and my silhouette cameo and cut it out. And I did. I think I did two layers of craft cardstock to make it sturdy. And here is her photo mat to go behind it. I have a graphic 45 coin envelope that she can open up and put four by four or even five by five photos in this. This is a cute way to hold photos. And then a tag from the collection that I did back on cardstock, cut out with my silhouette cameo. On this side, I did a Paris theme. I know that she's been to Paris, uh, I believe, several times. This is from the Abigail collection. I used one of the tags in it, added some pearls. I added this little Eiffel Tower and a border. So there's so much you can do with their paper collections. And then to this pocket, there's another photo mat for a 5x7 photo, a journaling card that she can add a photo to, or simply journaling. This is a paper I had in my stash a four by six, and then this gorgeous paper from the collection as well. I back that, as you can see on craft cardstock. Here I have some um, hug snug seam binding. I added a beautiful bracket that I had um, in this bronze color and I added a jewel to it. And then this 
postage stamp comes in the collection, I went ahead and made a accordion that will hold four by six photos. So she can glue one on either side and she's gonna get a lot more photos with this and then she can just tie this back up to hold it together. On this side, again, I have um, some seam binding that holds this together. This is a waterfall, and I use that same We Are Memory Keepers scallop punch for the side. On the front page, I made a little pocket, so it holds this little boarding pass, and then this tag that I backed on craft cardstock, added some twine to it, and then this adorable little suitcase on the front of it. So these will just be in here. She can add dates or journaling on these or just leave them, whatever she'd like to do. And these will all hold four by six photos again. She can just place those right in there and glue them down. Let me move this over so you can see a little bit better. On this side, again, a photo mat. This is a larger photo mat. I have a um, Tim Holtz tag. And then this is from the collection. I did two pieces, backed them on cardstock to make them sturdy, added some flat back pearls. And then I have a banner here. I added the word thankful with some flat back pearls. On this side, I didn't want to do too much with this paper. This paper is just absolutely gorgeous, so I didn't want to cover it too much. But this here will hold a four by four photo. It's left open on the side here, so she can just slide it right under four by four photo. This journey card that I backed on this um, brown paper. And then on this side, I designed a bracket pocket. Here I added, so this was a plain paper and I added this digital stamp that comes in the collection and these as well. I added pearls to the bottom of the suitcase, some pearls here. And then you get another large pocket. It's gonna hold a large five by seven photo front and back. Another journaling card, the world awaits. She can add the photo on the back of that. These are four and a half by six and a half, so it'll hold a four by four photo. Another photo mat here, and then another journaling card. On this side, again, with the Paris theme, this is perfect for two four by six photos. She can slide in her photos right like this on both of them, and they'll just slide right under this gorgeous hot air balloon. On this side, I designed a um, bracket style, added some pearls. I added also, these are some flowers from the collection that I cut out separate and added to the top there. And this side pocket holds some journaling cards as well. It, she can add a couple photos back here too. A little postcard, some travel notes, and then this beautiful little postcard as well. And I love how well the collections went together. On this side, I have another pocket where I use that scallop punch. I added these postcards directly onto the paper before printing them out and some satin ribbon here. I just, with my craft knife, I cut open the bottom of the pocket and fed the ribbon through that. And then I taped it on the back so when you're putting the journaling cards in and out, it won't affect that at all. But look how pretty that looks together. Here I have uh, larger photo mats journaling card, another postcard, and then Knitwit Collections does these great paint chips. I love them to go with whatever the theme is. So I back that on some of this navy blue. She can add notes, dates, or just leave it for decoration. This side here will hold a four by six. I have one of those baggage tags in the back with some seam binding, or excuse me, some twine rather. This side here, this is one of their elements. And again, I simply had my Silhouette Cameo trace it. I backed it on some craft cardstock so it's thick enough not to worry about to use it as a pocket. It holds the photo mat and then this cute little postage tag that I backed on some card craft cardstock. On this side, this Love This Moment is a sentiment that I had in my stash. I cut it out three three separate times to make it thick enough. She just needs to be a little bit careful, you know, putting things behind it. Here is one of the um, elements from the collection. And again, I popped that up so it has some dimension to it. Added some jewels back here. And then she has her photo mat, some travel notes, and this adorable boarding pass.
And then this is magnetized to keep it closed. I have the word travel with some pearls throughout a, a photo mat here, a photo mat that's left open with this um, element that I cut out twice backing with craft cardstock, and then these pearls. And then this here again is from, I believe this one's from the Ooh La La collection. I backed it on some cardstock to make it thicker and it'll hold a five by seven photo behind it. And this cluster came just like this. Mary Fran designed it just like this. It's beautiful, it's ready to go. I added some pearls to it. On this side, there's two pockets and I added this bling to the top. I added this scallop with a Paris thing so she can add some Paris pictures in here. This will not hold many photos, maybe just one or two. And then these journaling cards, she could add a little four by four. This stamp here, um, I backed on some craft card stock, those tuck right in here. And then up here, she has some more journaling cards with her photo mat. Look how pretty this paper is. On this side, I did a side bracket pocket, added some pearls, some more of that beautiful cream satin ribbon. I love this paper. This I had in my stash. And then some more journaling cards. She can add photos to that. And then on this side, this is a um, element that came in the collection. I added a banner with a sentiment I had in my, sta my stash. It says, make every moment count. Added some pearls here. And then this is left open to slide her photo under. Another pocket on the side. This is a little cluster that came in it. I added that to the paper before printing it out. And then I have a large photo mat using a paper I had in my stash. They're four by six, another one here, and then here's another one of those Graphic 45 coin envelopes, five by five or four by four photos she can add in here and then put right back in the pocket. So this is a fun interactive uh, album. Here I made a large coin envelope. This will hold four by four, uh, excuse me, four by six. And let me see, she would, she could do five by seven. She may have to cut them down slightly, the, the height. But she can, when she opens this, she can add quite a few photos into this coin envelope. This side, I have a tall pocket. I cut out this, and so the adventure begins element and pop that up. I have some pearls here and a photo mat for a four by six, and then a large photo mat. And then on the side here, let me take this out so you can see it a little bit better. This is one of the clusters that Mary Fran, or Fran designed, and I simply traced it out and cut it out and used it to be able to hold some more tags. I, as you can see, I love this travel tag. So I have it in here a few times, added some baker's twine here, and she can add her photos behind here. And then another flip out, I used a large post-it postcard for her pocket, a little journaling card here, and an element that I cut out from the collection. And then I did the exact same thing that I just showed you. This was another cluster that I traced. I did go ahead and add another piece behind it, and then some baker's twine and a large photo mat. Here I have the scalloped edge, or actually this is the ticket edge with some pearls. I added this digital stamp that says enjoy the journey and then this element that I cut and backed it on some craft card stock. Here's another large photo mat, four by six, another four by six, and then two of these journaling cards. On this side, I designed a bracket style and added this that I had in my stash. It says, enjoy every moment, this beautiful flower from the paper collection and this silver bling to the side. And then this journaling card, this one, and then this I added the hot air balloon to, just as decoration. She can journal on the back if she'd like. On this side, I have some ribbon here with some flat back pearl trim this gorgeous paper collection and I added this um, circle element to it. And these are two different pages or rather pockets, two different pockets. This one has this gorgeous postcard. 
Again, perfect photo or just journaling. And then in the second pocket as well, this will hold some photo mats. I have a portrait style and landscape style here. She can do them however she chooses. Added some pearls to the top. And on this last page here, I did a waterfall. I added a little ribbon to be able to easily pull it up. It's magnetized to help keep it shut with some silver bling. And when she opens this up, she can add four by six photos on the front and back. So again, this album will hold a lot. And let me show you what this album will be sitting in. So I was going to make a box for the album to sit in, and I had the idea of making it look like a suitcase. That's why I went ahead and did the cover, because I liked the idea of that. So when I was online ordering the stuff to make a faux suitcase, I came across this on Amazon. And I know it's a little hard to see on camera, I apologize. Hopefully the pictures I add to it will show it a little bit better. But this suitcase holds the album perfectly. And it's a perfect way to display the album. So she can, when you open it up also, I, I did the top and the bottom with that same faux leather paper. And by the way, I got that leather paper a long time ago from Hobby Lobby. It's called Aged Leather and um, it's by Authentique. So she can display the album sitting up if she wants and it'll look cute on a bedside or a coffee table or she can lay it down in there and display it that way, however she chooses to do so. So this is a perfect accent to go with it. Also, lastly, I did make a matching card for them to be able to give their mom. And you probably guessed it, my favorite element from it is that baggage tag. I just sized it to be a regular A2 size card and made it into a tag. I added some Baker's Twine, as you can see. I did edge all of it with Vintage Photo Distress Ink, and then I added in a typewriter font, Happy Birthday 85, and her actual birthday. And then you open it up. I backed it with that beautiful navy card stock and then a craft tag so they can write their sentiment. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This was so much fun to, to make. I really enjoyed working with this collection. I've been working on this album for the last few weeks and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope that she enjoys it and her family enjoys it. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day.